Welcome to Car Boot Hunting, episode 14. This is three boot sales in one video, one week after the other, from the 7th onwards. Hope you enjoy the video. Excuse me, how much is PlayStation? Well, what do you think? Oh, it's got a pound, yeah. Blue yeah. spots pound. Uh, it's a PS1. Okay, so this one? Yeah. Pound? Yeah. No, it's not. Has he got any games of it, Jimmy? You know? So as you can see, I was a bit shocked there when she said it was a pound because that's a bargain. But I picked it up for a fiver. Uh, she opened it up to have a look inside if there's any games. I think it was like Dance Dance Euro Mix or something that was in the actual drive. Um, but as you'll see, uh, something happens and it has to come back. But no, there's no game. And this was the problem, as Seth pointed out. Did they say it came with control? I think it's got a control in there. Have a look. Alright. Oh yeah, like this. No, the control's missing. Oh. Take it back. Seth couldn't use it without the controls. We just took it back and I said I'll just get him one off eBay. Makes it easier. Some Xbox titles here, nothing that incredible, so yeah, left those. Mm -hmm. Okay, have a look at your This woman's just let me have a look at her games. Nothing worth picking up here, really bad titles for the Wii and the DS, mm -hmm. but you'll find something out later, um, which I found quite annoying at this boot sale. Mini Ninjas. And here we are, back at the same stall again, a little bit later on, and suddenly she's got PS3 games with really good titles and 3DS games like Mario 3D Land um, for £1.50 each, as you'll hear us say. Uh, and I was just gutted. She didn't have them out when I was there first, and I was gutted to miss them out. This stall had amazing prices. It had PS3 games for 50p. They were ma mainly sport games, but they had Gran Turismo, but the guy picked it up. I would have probably grabbed that for 50p. They also had Drive Club for the PS4, brand new sealed, for £4. This guy here on the right, you can't really see him. But um, yeah, he picked them up, and I just thought it was quite good. I would have picked them up if I was a couple of seconds earlier. I spotted a black Wii in her car, so I asked if she had any games. She pulled this out. Apparently, this is brand spanking new. Uh, my little boy's been on this belt two times. That's the thing. So she pulls out a load of wires that have got nothing to do with the Wii. It's missing the control pad and it's also missing the flaps on the top. But apparently this is brand new, so maybe it's a good pickup. And she wanted, I'm pretty sure she said £30 for it, which is a bit crazy. Okay, this is the week after the 7th uh, and we're at the same boot sale again, so let's see what we find. Now this guy in the grey tracksuit is here every week and he always seems to get there before me. Even if I walk in front of him, he still manages to get the games. He's picked up two, free, uh, two 360 controllers for £2 and then three months Xbox Live there for a pound. The rest of the titles the woman had were PSP titles, but they were all movies and a few uh, 360 games which just weren't worth picking up. I'm not really collecting for, so I missed out to this guy again. And I don't know how he does it, but he seems to always get in front of me. Hi. Box of DS games, all rubbish. The usual stuff that you see, like My Little Pony and things like that. Nothing worth picking up, so we left those behind. Load of 360 titles, nothing worth picking up really. I asked him if he had any more games, and he said, yeah, I'd do at home, which I thought was quite funny. So, I left that. And here's BMO from Adventure Time, really good condition, brand spanking new, and he only wants a couple of quid for it, so we pick that up. Is that it? Yeah, I just want it. Just want red. <laughs> so cute. It's all brand new. Oh. So I just, otherwise I'll have to give you all my... Amanda just spotted a R2-D2 key ring with light. Brand spanking new for a pound, so I had to help her out because she had no change. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Random lot of games. You've got Wii games, no good titles on the Wii. 
a couple of PS4 games are like Watch Dogs, I think, and other stuff, but they want £10 for the PS4 games, and they want to it's a fiver for the Wii and the PS3. All right prices, not the best, but yeah, I left those. There's Amanda wrecking the joint, picking up a Harry Potter game. I think it's called Back to Hogwarts. Uh, it's only two pound, and the guy said it's all working, and it was. It was missing a couple of pieces, but nothing, sp you know, special. So she picked that up for two pound. She's happy with that. How much for your Harry Potter? Yeah, does it all work, do you know? Yeah, yeah, it all works. We've got some money. <laughs> And here we are at the third boot sale in a row. Let's see what we find here. It looks like an episode of Silent Hill. Very misty today. There's a guy who's like 75, 80 in this uh, people carrier over here. And he's cranking up the tunes. First thing in the morning at the boot sale, he's blaring rave music. He loves it. <laughs> PS3 and Xbox 360 titles, nothing worth picking up. They were all individually priced. Uh, I think mainly they were about 4 50 to £5 each. Um, I just had a little look at them, but nothing worth getting. He had a few PS2 titles, and as you can see, the guy in the tracksuit comes up again, barging in to grab all the titles. Oh, yeah. Can I have a look at your games? Is that alright? Oh, yeah, I asked to look at them. Yeah. Weren't good titles. The best one was Cooking Mama, and I mean, that's rubbish as well. So, yeah, left one's behind. Ah, girly ones, are they? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look. How much is your PlayStation, mate? Yeah, 20 quid. You 20 quid's a good price, but I have no idea if it works. The control was in rough shape. It had paint all over it. Tracksuit guy was straight behind me, and he was asking how much. So I don't know if he picked it up or not, but I left it. How much are your guns? Um, I don't know. What were you selling them for? Um, you, you do it. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, Two pound each. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For my nephew and niece, two pound each, in really good gun, condition, with loads of darts back. as well. So I grabbed. I don't think you have to on that one. Don't know where you don't. Yeah, just pull the trigger. And then pull it, and then sort of go. Would you do two for three quid? Or was that too cheeky? I do three fifty. Three fifty, great price yeah. for two guns. Really happy with that. Thank you. PlayStation 2 titles, the best one was Star Wars Lego. Um, I don't know if we play it to be honest, we don't really collect PS2 titles, so we left those. Was interested in this new uh, Lego Star Wars set, but when we heard the price, I couldn't believe it. Do you want it? It's got R2D2 in it. Yeah, it's cute, isn't it? Hiya, how much is your Star Wars figure? £20. How much? £20, oh, okay. No way I'm paying £20 for Lego at a boot sale. In a box you can just spot some Saturn titles. I think it's two Sega Sockers and two FIFA. I don't think I'd even pick them up for 50p. I wouldn't play them, so I left those behind. Okay, so as you saw in the boot sale videos, there was three boot sales and they were all absolutely rubbish. I missed out on a couple of items, which I'm sad about. I don't let it get me down. But most of the stuff uh, was just absolute crap. It was just like boxes and boxes of games that I'd never pick up. And as you can see, the guy in the grey tracksuit, uh, he's at every single boot sale doing the same thing as me, which, I, you know, I'm not uh, negative about that he's doing it. But the only difference between him and me is that he sells everything, 100% of the stuff he picks up, as far as I can see. Um, my partner's found his eBay account, and when he picks up all the, the Lego stuff, he sells all the Lego. When he picks up all the games, he's selling all the games. And he, everything I see him pick up at the boot sale is annoying because I know it's going to end up on eBay instead of in a collector's pocket. So it's a bit annoying. But as you can see from the boot sale, I got uh, a BMO cuddly toy, which is over there, if you can see where my finger is. He's on the chair of plushies. Uh, Amanda wanted that, and it was £2. I think that was a good price. She got a Harry Potter game, which is something about back to Hogwarts or something that spins, and you've got to press the buttons and it talks. Uh, I don't know why she wanted it, but it's Harry Potter, so she's happy with it. That was also £2. And I got a couple of Nerf guns. 
uh, for a couple of quid. Well, it worked out as £3.50 for two guns, and the guns are worth about a tenner each. I gave them to my nephew and niece, and they love it, and they've been shooting each other all the time, so they're having great fun with it. But I'm sorry I didn't pick up much, but I thought I'd make the boot sale video anyway, just to show you what is out there, and you can look at the video and see it real time, and it's quite good to watch. Even if you see it's just rubbish, it's, you know, it's good to see what is out there. So thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. And let me know in the comments what could change, if you think uh, any ideas of what I could do differently. You know, if you don't like what I'm doing, it's good to see uh, different opinions on it. And uh, yeah, just give it a thumbs up and I'll be happy with that. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.